anywhere. Policies, whether you do with your friends in business on international scale, policies define who you are. Policies represent what you as a country stand for. And if we enter into policies that do not have a good base, that does not have the correct foundation, then we are representing a bad global image. And this is exactly what we as the affirmative team are showing, is that the New START Treaty, we entered this treaty into Russia that is supposed to significantly, drastically change our relations. Well, it might, but it's changing our relations in, the bad, in a bad way. It is changing relations and setting up a future precedent that Russia believes that we will be able to have other treaties with them in the future that are like this, where we are giving to Russia, but Russia is not conceding anything to America. And this is basically the affirmative team's philosophy in today's debate round. I would like to address the arguments brought up underneath the relations point. I have several responses to this. My first is that the START Treaty was passed for gain by the administration. They mainly did keep pass it for relational gains. And I have shown that this should not be our basis for passing a treaty. If this is the only reason that our administration mainly did pass this, then this is not correct. And we should take a step back and we should redirect this and pass a treaty with Russia that will give us relational gains, relational gains in the correct manner. My second uh, response to this is that our, our policies are, are we are defined by our policies and that the affirmative team has not shown that by backing out of the New START Treaty that relations will be hurt. They have not brought up evidence that by pulling out of New START we will be hurt. They have not brought up specific evidence to this point whatsoever. I'd like to group the points of extraordinary event and the ABM Treaty together. Um, my first response to this, to this is that experts saying extraordinary event, we have this expert and he was in our 1AC. The gentleman that I quoted this piece of evidence was from December 27th of 2010. The treaty was ratified on December 22nd. This was after the START Treaty was already ratified, and he said, and quote, surely these are extraordinary events that should prompt a recalculation of whether now is the time to allow Russia to hamstring our missile defense, end quote. He was referring back to North Korea and Iran, their advancement of missiles and the uranium enrichment facility. And he said specifically, an extraordinary event, which is what the clause says in the New START Treaty. My second response to this is that uh, we have a historical precedent that the ABM Treaty that we pulled out of, we actually had no reason for pulling out of. Here in the START Treaty, we present you with a reason. We have an expert giving this reason. We as the affirmative team are not coming up to you and saying this is the reason that we are pulling out of this treaty. No, we have someone saying this and we are backing them up as well. This piece of evidence is from Dr. Robert N. Brown in 2002. This is referring to the ABM Treaty. There have been no such extraordinary events in diplomatic notes to Russia, Belarus, Pakistan, and Ukraine announcing its intentions to withdraw. The U.S. made vague references to states and non-state entities seeking to acquire weapons of mass destruction. It also noted that a number of unnamed states are developing ballistic missiles. Finally, it concluded that these events pose a direct threat to the territory and security of the United States and jeopardize its supreme interests. This is patently untrue. And quote, this piece of evidence shows that by pulling the United States, when it pulled out the ABM treaty, was not specific on why it was pulling out whatsoever. Referring now to specifically to the ABM Treaty is my first point under this is that the international community it was met with silence when pulling out of it. The uh, negative team has not brought up evidence showing how the international community uh, reacted specifically by pulling out the ABM Treaty, and the evidence that they read in their two and did not specifically say Russia whatsoever. My third response is that the Kyoto Protocol does not have an exit clause, and this is why the inner the some act, some state actors were um, not happy with Russia, with America pulling out of the treaty is because it did not have an exit clause. The New START Treaty does have an exit clause, and both America and Russia agreed on this, and they signed this treaty. My, I'd like now to go to ver verifications, and I have a couple of responses on this. The opening quote views in the two and C uh, did not state that verifications would it actually work in the New START Treaty. My second response is that START is only, New START is only allowing to have verifications at five different sites. It says that sites anywhere that Russia chooses. We may not know that they're building new facilities, we may not be able to go into these new facilities. Addressing uh, the dis 
VAs, that this was policies defined who we are, the disadvantages that of an international community, we are defined by our policies and we should have the correct base before entering into a treaty. Thank you. Um, we have